Hey guys, I'm Rob. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something called a uh, barbecue roundup. Um, so I'm going to do this, I'm uh, going to release one of these every Friday. I'm going to try to. Uh, they're not live, although I might do a live one one day. Um, yeah, barbecue roundup. I'm going to go through videos that I watched this past week on YouTube. And I'm going to pick some out. Uh, some are going to be emailed to me, hopefully. Uh, you know, people are going to say, you know, hey, I made this, Rob. Why don't you put it on your barbecue roundup on Friday? So, uh, and again, we might we might try some live ones. Who knows? But um, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and get on with this, right? Um, grab yourself a beer. Boop. Super sunny out today. Um, really, really nice. I think it's uh, it's about eighty. So a little bit hot, but it's cooled down a little bit. All right, let's go to the first one. Moonshine's Roadhouse. Some of you guys know him, right? Uh, so he made some bacon-wrapped chicken bites uh, this this past week, um, probably about four or five days ago. And, uh, you know, you can find the links down in the description here. If you want to go watch it yourself, I, um, I recommend you do. Uh, but he used his rubber kettle. Um, so as you can see in this first picture, uh, he's wrapping up, um, he got some, some, uh, chicken breast, cut them up into little chunks and then wrapped them with bacon, as you can see there. Uh, after that, he, uh, he put some, uh, put some rub on there to forget what brand it was. Sorry. I'm going to get better at this. I'm going to make some notes and stuff for the next one. This is like a learning one. Uh, as you can see there, he's got them on the kettle. Uh, he's got them. Indirect heat, as you can see, he's got the charcoal on the left and the right, and uh, kept cooking them till they were done, which I'm going to imagine was about 165 internal with the breasts. And look at that! You can see how juicy they are. They're pretty nice. But yeah, so check that out. Moonshine's Roadhouse bacon wrap chicken bites. They look great. Uh, I don't remember. He might have put a little bit of a glaze on the on the top at the end there as well. Next one, Gorilla Joe's Barbecue. Uh, I recently just found this guy. I think he was posting on Reddit or something. But he made a, uh, a blooming barbecue bologna, as you can see in the picture there. It almost looks like a blooming onion from, uh, what was that, Applebee's? Applebee's. But um, yeah, it looks pretty good. And then he has, uh, uh, I guess it's, it's some other uh, chunks up of, of bologna. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. And you know what else I saw? Using the old Uncle Steve sauce with no name. That's right. And there's a kind of a close-up of it. Yeah, that looks amazing. I've never tried one of those. I mean, I've done smoked bologna before. But yeah, cutting it up like that. I'm going to try that. You get tons and tons of little crevices. They all kind of come out like this. They're all going to get nice and nice and cooked up and nice... Uh, you get some some rub on all the sides, some sauce on all the sides. Looks good to me. Next one, Trumpet Master. He's been in a lot of the lives we've done with the uh, um, was a, the Tuesday Chill. You can always catch him in there. Uh, yeah, so he made some carnitas. So he has them on the grill here in a uh, in a pan, uh, and then you can see. Took them out of that and chopped them all up into little smaller pieces. And then there you have the, uh, the money shot. But yeah, those look delicious. And, you know, you got some some limes or some lemons there next to it. But yeah, that, that looks like a pretty nice meal, if you ask me. Uh, let's see here. And we're gonna take uh, take five that I found. Let's uh, let's go to the next one. Behind the garage barbecue. You guys know him. Uh, he did a smoked pork loin, and you know he made up his own sauce. Almost every video, this guy, he's always making his own sauce. He's always mixing up something. Yeah, I'm too lazy for some of that, but um, let's see what it looks like when you cut it up. 
Ah, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, Craig. The uh, see how juicy they are. Look at that outside. I bet that I bet it tastes really good. And then he, he used his sauce on it, as you can see in this picture here. But um, yeah, I would eat that all day long. Pork loins usually I'll do the uh, usually I'll do the whole thing. But what I've been wanting to do uh, recently is is grab the whole pork loin. I haven't seen it on sale either in a while. Normally. Well, not normally, but I don't know. I'd say kind of like mid-COVID. Uh, I'd go to the store, and they'd be on sale like 99 cents a pound or something. So I'd buy them, and I'd just cook them up as like one big thing, which I, I think is what, what Craig did here. But what I want to do, I think, for the next one I do is cut it in half and cut some nice, thick pork steaks out of it. Cook those up, uh, you know, kind of hot and fast, and then do a nice slow and low and slow on the... Uh, on the on the big chunk yeah that looks amazing and what is it? i think we have one left one left what's it going to be is it going to be chicken is it going to be beef is it going to be pork is it going to be something else let's see grill and chill mojo he did a hawaiian chicken pizza not only that you'll see you'll see in a minute but i i, I took a uh Kind of an overhead shot here that he had just to show how much stuff he is he's got going in here so it, it's starting out with a hawaiian pizza right you can see on the uh the far pizza he's, he's got like kind of a hawaiian thing uh maybe with some ham and pineapple and uh some sauce and some cheese the one closest or you know on the bottom there that's just regular old pizza all right what's he gonna do what's he gonna do uh so he's got himself a blackstone pizza oven um that's probably pretty fun Probably pretty fun to use and he uh you can see he's, he's putting them in there now next though he's just making a sandwich he grilled up some chicken and two big chunks there put them on the one on the hawaiian pizza and he's got some bacon there then you know what he did he got some slaw and he made himself a sandwich using the pizzas as bread that's crazy that's some good thinking there mojo but uh, yeah, that wraps up this one. These aren't going to be that long. We're just going to talk about a couple things, you know. But yeah, if you want, you can email me. Uh, if you make a video and you think it's pretty cool, um, email me, rob at homeownerbarbecue.com. And, you know, give me a link to the, to the video. Also, if you guys haven't already, please follow me on Instagram, Homeowner Barbecue. But that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I'm gonna to try to uh, try to post these up uh, every Friday. Um, hope maybe earlier in the day, right? I don't know. Maybe around noon. That way, people you know can can hit the hit the store after work and, and get some of the stuff if you know if they like it. But um, yeah, I don't know what. Uh, I might try that 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 Bloomin' Barbecue Bologna first. Why don't you let me do, know down in the comments? Out of these five, how would you rate them from one to five? Also, which one are you gonna which one are you gonna try? Which one are you gonna try first? I'm gonna try probably all five. So you let me know in the description in the uh, comments. And uh, again, look in the description. You can click on anyone's link there. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to them, please do so. Um, I don't know all these people. I just thought their their cooks look pretty cool. So um, I'm subscribed to all of them. So you should too. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. I got to hit end broadcast.